Let's paint this easy landscape together. I will have all of the supplies and paint colors I used listed on my blog. Let's get started. I'm going to start this painting by first loading up my brush with clean water. And I am going to fill in the top half of my painting with that water. I'm doing a generous amount but not too much to where it's not gonna be pooling in areas. If it starts to pool, our watercolor isn't going to react the way we want to on our page. So try to just get a nice, even gloss of water over that top half of the painting. Then I am gonna go into my yellow paint, and I am going to paint the top half of the top section of our paper. I did not tape off my page at all, so I wetted everything up to the very tip so the water will just seep and have a nice smooth blend. But if you want, you can use some painter's tape or washi tape and uh, have a nice crisp border. Then I'm gonna go into my Viridian Hue Green. This is a very bluish green. And I'm going to fill in that bottom half of the painting and I'm gonna let these colors seep and blend together and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take my paper towel and I am going to tap away a circle right up here on the top right side of the painting. And then I'm going to take clean water on my brush and it's just going to be damp. And I'm just going to blend that circle and then I'm going to dry my brush completely. I'm just going to kind of take away and that's going to be our sun rise, our sun rising in the sky. I'm going to take a little bit more of my yellow and I'm going to tap that in around. My paint is already drying so I'm going to take more water on my brush just to be able to blend this out so it doesn't look so harsh around our sun. While everything is still wet and drying, we are going to go back into a darker mixture of that Viridian Hue. And you'll notice I did not wet the bottom area. And we're going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to go in with a wet brush onto the dry paper. And I'm going to let it touch that sky. And we're going to bring it down. And again, we want our ground area to be darker, closer to the bottom of the page and lighter as it comes toward our sunset. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm just picking up some of that paint with a dry brush. So it kind of still leaves that hue, but it just lightens it up a bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that paint on my brush just try to add in some dark to that bottom right there. Then I am going to take that same color and we'll see how this goes. My sky's a little bit, it's starting to dry. I am going to tap in, that was a lot of water. I am going to tap in some trees. If you have too much water, it's going to just kind of kind of just go crazy like it just did. So that was a great example of that. Um, but if you have the right amount of paint and water on your brush and also on the paper, you should just be able to tap in some shapes of trees along the horizon line. And then it's just gonna bleed really nicely into that background, kind of give like a real misty feel. So you don't want your back sunset area to be like sopping wet. You want it to have 
to kind of have start to have dried um, so that it again it doesn't go crazy on you but when it's just barely wet and still has enough water there to let this all bleed you're gonna get a really nice background for your for your trees I'm just gonna kind of blend that down a bit but can't you see that how that's just giving us the appearance of some trees back there make a few shorter ones so they're not so all super tall right there I'm just gonna do that wonderful all right now we are going to let this dry completely and then we'll come back and we'll add some more defined trees in our foreground now that everything is dried, we are going to take our same size 12 round brush and we are going to go into a much darker uh, wash of that same green paint. And we are going to add two trees into our foreground just to give a little bit more interest and focus into the painting. So the first tree I'm going to do is over here on the left side. And I'm just going to start up pretty high a little bit like kind of parallel to the sun. I'm gonna start with a very like fine tip and then I'm just gonna use my brush to tap in the shape of my tree. So all I'm doing now is literally just tapping to get the shape I want. And this tree is just gonna get a little bit wider as it comes down. I'm trying not to go too crazy with it though. I don't want it to take up the whole bottom section of the page. And with this tree, I am going to just completely bring it down to where it just kind of fades away into the very front of our painting. Just like that. And then just to keep all of my edges smooth, you definitely don't have to do this. Just gonna kind of swipe away at this paint just a little bit, just to give it that loose feel of it just kind of blending downward into the grass rather than it looked really sharp there. All right, and then I'm gonna take that exact same color. And if you want, you can switch to a smaller brush. It might make this a little easier. I'm gonna start right underneath the sun and I'm just gonna make a slightly smaller tree off to the side. And I'm doing the exact same motion, just tapping with my brush to create the shape of this tree. Up here just a little bit more, just like that. And then I'm gonna take water on my brush and I have a little bit of paint left and I'm just going to blend this out into the ground. And I'm really just going for a very loose feel, which is why I'm doing this. If you want to be more detailed, you could create a trunk, um, a little bit more shadowing. But this is just a very simple watercolor landscape that you can do. You don't have to mix any colors. The only thing is just adding more water to get a lighter shade and then more paint to get a darker shade. And that's all you have to do to create this easy watercolor landscape painting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you back in another video. By the way, I mentioned it before, but I will have all the details listed over on my blog if you would like to check those out. I'll have a link in the description box below. Bye.